On the Russian-controlled Crimean Peninsula, mosques dedicated their Friday prayers to the victims of the 1944 deportation of Crimean Tatars. May 18th marks the 70th anniversary of the forcible removal of more than 200,000 Crimean Tatars from the peninsula. Many thousands died of starvation or disease during the deportation to Central Asia ordered by Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin. Crimean Tatars began returning to the Black Sea region in the 1980s. In Kazan, the capital of the Russian Republic of Tatarstan, more than 400 Tatar women from 20 countries gathered for a conference on education and family policy. Among the topics was the education of children in the Tatar language, which often falls to the parents. Many Tatar families live in areas across Russia where they are the minority and have no access to Tatar language schools. In the Russian city of Kirov, residents protested against their possible expulsion from their apartments. The protesters live in former dormitories that were privatized in the 1990s. The owners now want to evict the residents and sell the buildings, while the residents are demanding that their homes again be made property of the city. In the Kazakh capital, Astana, activists gathered at the country's space agency to deliver a letter of protest after the crash of a Russian rocket on Kazakh territory earlier the same day. It was the second accident involving a Russian rocket launched from Kazakhstan in less than a year. The first crash 10 months ago was blamed for spreading highly toxic rocket fuel called Heptal across a large area, prompting protests and demands for compensation for environmental damage. In Bosnia-Herzegovina, floods caused mudslides in the city of Tuzla following days of torrential rains across the Balkans. At least one person has died in Bosnia as a result of the flooding and another five have died in Serbia. The floods are reported to be the most serious in the Balkans in 120 years. In Pakistan, a remote-controlled bomb exploded in the northern city of Banu, injuring eight people, including four police officers. Police said the bomb was planted on a parked motorcycle and went off when officers approached to inspect the vehicle. Also in Pakistan, residents of the Kalash Valley in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province celebrated the arrival of spring at the four-day Chilam Josh festival. The Kalash Valley near the Afghan border is home to Pakistan's Kalash minority, who practice a polytheistic religion and keep distinct local customs like the spring celebration. In Kyrgyzstan, President Almaz Bakatambayev presented awards to mothers from across the country ahead of Mother's Day celebrated on May 18th. Atambayev also signed a decree granting honorary medals to thousands of Kyrgyz women who have had six children or more. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.